Hi everybody, it's Veronica from Veronica Events and the uh, Wedding Planner uh, the magazine, Wedding Planner Lifestyle Magazine. I'm not sure why I would forget that. I'm just waiting a little bit for people to come into the room. It is Wedding Wednesday, so I am coming to you live again. Hello, 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 hello. Just waiting for more people to come in the room. Happy Wedding Wednesday to everyone. Um, it is a beautiful day uh, in the neighborhood and we are out of the stay at home order. Hallelujah, glory to God. And we're looking forward to um, beautiful days ahead, sunny days and the reopening of our city in stages. And I'll touch a little bit on that but I'm just waiting for everyone to come in. Thank you for joining me, those that are already in the room. And uh, I'll just give you guys a few minutes. Okay, I'm just going to wait a few more seconds and then I will get started. Hello, Emily Posen. Thank you for joining. And Malia, thank you also for joining. Malia7, I think it is. Thank you for joining. Hi, Heidi. Hi, I'm waving back. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you're staying safe. Hey, hey. I'm excited. I'm excited. I have a wonderful topic today. We're going to talk all about because we're reopening. So um, just want to touch on a subject that is really, really important to couples that are engaged. And um, hi. <laughs> Hello, my darling. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. Good, 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 good. I'm glad you're keeping safe. Star for the day events. I'm not familiar uh, with the business. However, I do appreciate you joining. Thank you so much. I'm waving back. Okay, I have to get some music going. Yeah, I have to get some music. I gotta do something while I wait, but I'll get it all set up as uh, I continue to progress uh, every Wednesday. Uh, just a reminder, I'll be coming to you live every single Wednesday, um, anytime after 4 p.m. Uh, on uh, Instagram and also the video will be uploaded to YouTube uh, thereafter within an hour after my live on Instagram thank you so much girl you love the curly hair who child you know I don't have to comb it <laughs> I, just, I just get up and go thank you thank you thank you blowing kisses to you I appreciate it thank you so much uh stars for a day event uh i think we met at another event uh please remind me um please remind me if so please remind me i'm sure we did um hello karen carrington one of my fave the best in of the best in the business <laughs> oh my gosh honey thank you for joining thank you so much love you too thank you so much i appreciate you joining Celeste uh, Pano, sorry, forgive me. Um, I don't mean to butcher your name. Uh, Celeste Pano, thank you for joining. Love you too. Oh my goodness. Okay, 
So I think I'm gonna get started uh, because usually my videos are a little bit shorter. Uh, like I said, I've just started, so as I progress, um, I'll spend a little more time on providing content and digging a little deeper into the topics and the subjects I'd like to share. And also having a discussion, um, speaking with you, you know, answering your questions and so on. So today, what I'd like to talk about, since our city, and I'm in Toronto, since our city is in the process uh, stage, the first stage of reopening, um, I'd like to bring to you uh, information regarding hiring a wedding planner. So just some tips in hiring a wedding or event planner. Um, again, I think our capacity right now, based on the information that was shared yesterday, uh, is 15%. That would be 15% of uh, the space, uh, the event space or the venue space. And that would be, uh, depend on your number. So just wanted to drop some nuggets. Um, and uh, when you, if you're looking for a planner, because of course, uh, you were planning your wedding. Some people had um, kind of postponed it until uh, summer and fall. So engaged couples would need this information or anyone who is in the business or looking to host an event, I'm sure they can use uh, the information I'm provided. Now, when it comes to the planning process, um, that can really uh, stretch the spectrum and I, I really don't want to get too broad. So what I'll do, um, and you have no idea what to do regarding planning, here are the things that you actually need to do when you're going to ha um, hire an event planner. Everything you need to know. And like I said, certain things I'm going to go in depth, certain things I know you're really smart people and you know already, but I'm just gonna touch on it. Um, the first thing when hiring a planner uh, is for you to talk to the planner about uh, your wedding and then uh, have that discussion regarding uh, what is your spending limit or some would like to say uh, their budget and um, the planner between yourself and the planner will provide you uh, what their either hourly service is or based on if they're planning over a year they'll provide you uh, with a fee for their services and it's I wouldn't say it's non-negotiable it is negotiable based on what they're providing to you and what you're asking them to. So that is a discussion you need to have with a planner. Now, six reasons to hire a planner. First of all, a planner will definitely help you. Uh, hi, Paula, PJ Papery, the best in the business for wedding invitations and any kind of stationery. Thank you for joining. <laughs> hi, Paula, I'm waving, I'm waving. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, as I was saying, the, I'm just giving tips today on um, everything you need to know about hiring a wedding planner and the things to discuss. Six reasons to hire a wedding planner. Uh, to help you with your budget or your spending limit and the constraints. Uh, to fight for your vision because you will actually communicate your vision to the planner and then the planner will execute that vision. So you need to have that conversation. But she needs to know what your vision is in order to help you with that vision, to execute that vision. The third thing would be to keep things on track. It's absolutely important. Um, we do, there's time frames, there's time restraints. So a planner is key in keeping you on track and making sure she fights for the vision that you've communicated to her. Uh, another thing that a planner is absolutely important in negotiating your discounts with a vendor. And when I say discounts, I don't mean we are going to underpay. Hi, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. I have the curly tops. I appreciate you. Thank you. Much love um, to get your vendor discount. Now, we're not speaking about um, underpaying a vendor or not paying them for their services or their time. What I'm saying is, and I just want to be very clear, is that when you are hiring a contractor, which a vendor is, you, we have to make sure that we are paying them based on the service they're providing or the product. And many times in our business, when you're dealing with a specific vendor, um, a planner usually would receive a discount or an incentive, not for bringing the business to the client, but because you've worked with them several times and they'll be like, okay, you're working with this client, I've worked with you before, and I'd like to offer a certain incentive uh, to the client. That is passed on directly to the client. So it doesn't go to the planner, it's passed on to the client. And um, that's the negotiation between the vendor and the planner. 
The fifth thing is to handle the ceremony to reception flipping. Um, sometimes you'll work in a room and, uh, hi Genevieve. Hey Gina, how are you doing? I'm waving back. Thank you for joining. Uh, you'll find sometimes you work in a room or a space or a venue where you have to flip the venue. And that simply means that your ceremony is held in that room. And then after the ceremony, we move out of that room and that full room is flipped into the reception or the cocktail area. Hi. Thank you for joining. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. I appreciate you guys coming in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please like and share and comment. Um, as I mentioned earlier, uh, the video will be uploaded to YouTube. I do have a YouTube channel. It's the Wedding Planner Lifestyle Magazine uh, show, and I'll be uploading this video to uh, YouTube. So please subscribe over there and comment also. I appreciate you guys. Uh, I'm not sure how to do Facebook and Instagram and YouTube ads yet. I'm working on that. It's a, um, something progressive. I'm getting there slowly. As I get my feet wet and I'll be coming on Facebook Live. Trust me, I'll be coming on Facebook Live also. But thank you for joining me. The sixth reason to hire a wedding planner is to um, coordinate the entire day. And that is from uh, start to finish to the end of the evening. Uh, sometimes we'll have, or most times we'll have an assistant and they're working along with us. Uh, so they're part of the process also. And we manage your event. Uh, or coordinate the entire event and manage the event from start to finish. Um, they can also, and, um, I'm just going to go through that list from number one, uh, to help you with the budget restraints. A wedding planner can save you uh, money with the vendors, as I mentioned. They can fight for your wedding vision, everything on track, just making sure that your budget, uh, supervising your legal contracts, um, tackling the day-to-day, -day, um, focusing on the event. Those are the things that a planner can definitely help you do. They can also assist you in selecting a theme if you're not sure, fabric, um, uh, the colors, uh, just giving you some ideas of uh, what is trending, what's not trending, and making suggestions. And ultimately, you're the client, and you will have the final say as to what your wedding would actually look like. Um, and our purpose also is to make it stress-free uh, stress for you. Now, stress-free in a sense where we kind of take the load off of you. Um, you know, we iron out the fine details so you don't have to be in contact with the vendor. You don't have to be in contact with the church and the venue and all the other venues, uh, all the other vendors, excuse me, that are part uh, of your event. And we will actually do that for you. Of course, as I mentioned, uh, there is a fee for our services. And that will be discussed between uh, the client, which is yourself, and the wedding planner. Uh, the fourth thing, just to expand on it regarding discounts, I just wanted to go a little bit deeper um, regarding the discounts. Because, um, for instance, if we are hiring a photographer, um, if you are getting both services, let's just say, uh, photography and videography from the same vendor, then there's a possibility that the vendor would actually provide you a discount because you're getting, we are getting both services from them. So they're doing video, they're doing um, photography, and they may offer your planner a discount. Hello everyone, thank you so much. Uh, Stephanie, thank you. Uh, Divine Moleko, uh, thank you. Uh, thanks to everyone else that's joining. I taught it just freeze for a minute, but now we're back live. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining. So they'll work on the discount for you. The fifth thing uh, to handle your ceremony from uh, ceremony to flipping, again, the, the entire setup, working with a wedding decorator or a wedding designer, um, as we call them in our business, and basically is doing your backdrop, um, I know uh, Paul is very familiar with that, you know, setting the table, uh, making sure that the um, stationery is on the table, that would be your menu, uh, so you know exactly what's on the menu, you know, your first course, your, your main course, uh, dinner, your dessert, uh, things like that, so the entire setup. Now, most part, the venue would actually uh, lay the table or set the table, 
and then uh, the planner would come in and if there is any additional elements that need to be added, then we will actually do that and make sure we do a clean uh, walkthrough and make sure everything is perfect. Attention to detail is absolutely important. <laughs> Thank you, Paula. So um, yes, uh, making sure that everything is in place. Everything that the client has asked us to execute for that day, we just make sure that we're providing that service and we're detailed as to what the client has asked us to do and execute it with perfection. Um, the last thing, uh, we can also help coordinate the entire day. And that simply means um, some of us actually work from, you know, um, after you get up in the morning and you have your shower, uh, you start to have the vendors come in, your hairstylist, uh, the makeup artist, getting your face and your hair done, making sure if your bridesmaids are with you, sometimes the bride have her bridesmaids with her when she's getting all dolled up. Uh, she is the queen of the day. Well, she'll be the queen every day, but that specific day. And just making sure that the vendors are on time and everything that the bride has asked us to do, it's being done for her. Because again, it's a paid service and we just wanna make sure that her wishes are attend to and everything is done the way that we had discussed it. So uh, coordinating the entire day from making sure that uh, the limousines show up on time, uh, we get her to uh, the church on time, from the church maybe to a park for uh, photos, uh, making sure from the park we get her back to reception. Um, a lot goes on within that day. Um, it's all fun. Uh, sometimes um, <laughs> there's a little hiccup, but that's why you hire a planner to a planner, a planner, excuse me, to make sure that if there's something that is not working, the bride will never know about it. Um, that's what we do. We make sure that we handle those details. We work with the vendor and we make sure everything is working smoothly for her on that day. All she knows is that I had a wonderful day. Everything was beautiful. Everything is in place. And um, whether the cake uh, was, was broken or when they were ready to set it up, you know, some of the icing came off of it and it had to be redone. Those are not things that we share with the bride. We make sure that we work with the vendor and it is done so all her pictures are perfection. The cake is perfection. It tastes good and it also looks good. And uh, finally, um, uh, the last thing I'd like to share is it's absolutely important to consider. I know a lot of times people may say to you, oh, it's not important to get a planner because, you know, uh, you've seen weddings before. I know a lot of the engaged couples spend a lot of time on Pinterest. Believe you me, they have all the pictures, cakes, dresses, uh, invitations, whatever it is that they need for the, their actual wedding, um, it's key for you to consider hiring a planner, working with someone who uh, that is their profession, that is their job, um, and they do it whether it's uh, two or three times uh, every weekend or they do it twice, twice um, uh, during during a weekend span, which is sometimes there's a morning wedding. I've had where I've had a morning wedding, and then in the evening on a Saturday, you know, you're working with another couple um, to consider having a planner. It's absolutely important. There's things that they can share with you that can save you money, and they can also refer you to vendors that are quality. They will select people that they know can execute whatever it is that you've asked the service, and um, go from there. Now, um, the last thing I would like to, um, to share with you, um, again, uh, I am starting new. This is really, really new for me. I'm still working through my nerves a little bit. And um, thank you so much, everyone, for joining. Please, if you have any questions or you'd like anything from me to touch on, um, I certainly will. I welcome your comments and your suggestions. If you'd like to go live with me at any time, please also send me an email. Um, our email is hello at weddingplanner.ca uh, and I can certainly set that up with you and we can actually, you can actually join me live. Um, for instance, um, I'll just make a reference to Paula. I know Paula is in the business of in invitations and decor. And um, you know, if you're looking for a vendor for your decor and invitations now that we're opening up, and uh, a lot of our couples are seeing uh, a light <laughs> a light at the end of the tunnel for their wedding in 2021. 
um, we can certainly have a conversation. Go to a go live with Paula, and she can provide you know information regarding invitations and decor. I'm not a decor specialist. I'm not a invitation specialist, but of course, as a planner, you have an idea of all the different services of the vendors. But it's better for them to speak on it directly um, than myself. So I would love to collaborate with you if you would like to. Um, it is open, it's an open invitation. Just send me an email and uh, we can schedule a wedding Wednesday and we can have this conversation. Thank you so much again for joining me. Um, I appreciate you guys. Again, every single Wednesday, I'll be coming live anytime after 4 p.m. Thank you so much. Have a great afternoon. And this video will be uploaded to uh, YouTube within the next hour. Certainly, okay, just call me Paula and uh, we can certainly chat. Again, thank you so much, I appreciate you. Like, share, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, have a great afternoon. I love you so much, bye.